progressive volumes. In this topic we will look at the use of fencing to update surfaces after each survey of an excavation. We will start with an existing surface and progressively update a combined surface after each survey. We're going to create a new project called Quarry. We click New. We're going to type in the project name Quarry. Select the folder and it's all Training, Survey, Volumes. Click OK. Click back and press Enter. And again we're going to use the Environment setting, Getting Started Survey and click Create. Select Finish on the Project Details panel and move the Recalc panel down to the bottom left. We will read the surveys in using 12D ASCII files, File I.O., Data Input, 12DA, 4DA. In this example we've got three files to read in and we're going to read them in at once. So we click on the Advanced tab. We then have to select the Volumes folder. So we click Folder, go up a level, and actually go past Volumes and then double click on Volumes and click OK. Here you'll see the ASCII files here. We're going to untick the ones we don't want. So we're just going to use the Quarry ones. Now these jobs already had prefixing for the survey. So we can turn off the prefixing. The easiest way to do this is to click left button up the top and go right button clear. We then click read and then finish. And you'll see the data has appeared on the screen. Now as per the previous job we saw we're going to save away the models to listings. So firstly we'll turn off everything except the initial survey 2009-03. We can click on the toggle button just to have a quick look at the contours and we'll save that away to a model listing. View, model save, restore. The file name will be 2009-03 survey. The view to save will be view 1 and we click save. You can leave this panel here if you like. We'll turn off 2009-03 Turn on 2009-04. Again, we can save that away. So what we'll do is just change the 3 to a 4. And again, click Save. We'll repeat the process now for the 2009-05 models. And again, change the 4 to a 5 this time. And Save. The first volume we will do will be between the 03 and 04 tins. So we're just going to turn off everything here. We're just going to turn on the tin 2009-03 and tin 2009-04. We will toggle off the contours. And you can see here that the 03 surface sits outside the 04. We can now calculate the volumes from the 03 to 04 survey. We're going to just bring back the models for 04, so we can go Model Save Restore, bring back 20904 and put it into Plan View 1. Click Read, Restore. We just need those models on the screen to be able to pick the uh, edges. We now use the option Design, Volumes, Exact, Tin to Tin. The original tin will be 20903, the new tin 20904. We're going to use a report file, which will be 200904 volumes. We're going to use, instead of a polygon, we're going to use a model of polygons. And we're going to pick the model. And if we click Same As, we can actually pick the model of the top of the bank. And then we select Volume. Here you'll see the volume for each excavation. We'll just exit this file. As we discussed previously, it's always a good idea to do your volumes two separate ways. The next way we're going to do a volume will be tin to tin by height range. This is done under Design, Volumes, Tin to tin height range. We again pick the original tin, which is 20903, the new tin, 20904, 
we're going to give it a delta X and delta Y of 1, so it'll just be a 1 metre grid. And we're going to use a range file, so if you click on the icon, click on browse, go back up a level, and there's a range file there called quarry.hrf. If you wanted to look at the range file, you'll see that we have a range of heights. Go and click finish. We're not going to select a polygon and we're going to add it to the previous report and click volume. We then select append. The height range volume gave us a total volume. So if you were to add 9649 and 7791, you get an answer very close to your combined total cut of 17437. We now need to make a copy of the O3 survey that falls outside the edge of the O4 survey. This will be then used to combine the two surfaces to create a, an updated surface for the end of O4. So what we're going to do firstly is we need to parallel the actual top of banks. Prior to fencing the data we will parallel the top of batters out 10 millimeters so that the end of the cut strings don't sit right on the top of the batters. This would create crossing break lines and could create errors in the fencing edge. We will add a new model for the parallel lines. This is set up in the CAD control bar. We're just going to call it temp. And we'll just make the colour say red. And leave everything else as it is. We'll just turn off the tins for the moment so it makes it a bit easier to see what we're trying to parallel. And we're going to use the CAD option, String Parallel. Down the bottom of the screen it says pick string to parallel or type F is full, P is partial. It automatically defaults to a full parallel so we don't have to type in anything. We just pick the first string with direction, go from left to right, release and accept. And the offset is minus 0.01, enter. The offset height is 0. And if you zoom in, you'll see we've got a parallel string there. We're going to do the same for the next one. Again, the option is ready to go. So we just pick with direction and accept. And we can just press enter on these values. And again, we've got a 10 millimeter offset string. We're now going to use the fencing routine to save the data outside the limit of the O4 survey excavations to a new model. So we're going to turn off all the models to start off with. And then we're going to turn on the model 2009 03 surveys and the temp model. To fence the data, we use the option utilities, fence, multi fence. This is because we have two fence boundaries. We're going to fence the whole of view one, and the model for the fences will be temp. We're going to make a copy of what's outside those fences. The models for fence outside will be 200904 space extra. And then we click fence. If we now turn off our 200903 models and turn on our 200904 extra model, you'll now see that the data has been copied and trimmed against the temp line. We can now turn on our 2009-04 models. And if we turn off the temp model, you'll see the string has just been trimmed back a bit from those top of bank strings. We'll just finish on that panel. We can now create a tin now of the combined 2009-04 data. This is done using tins, create, triangulate data. We'll just give it a function name, tin th space 200904 space combined. The tin name will be 200904 combined. Press enter. We'll give it a different color, in this case orange. The data tab will be view and it'll be view 1. 
and the nulling, we do have a null polygon, so we click on the option, pick out on the edge, and triangulate. If we now turn on the Model 10 2009-04 combined, and then toggle on our contours, you'll see that we have a triangulation that combines both 2009-04 with the existing data outside the top of banks. We can view the updated surface in a perspective view. Here we'll just create a new view under View, New, Perspective OpenGL. And we're just going to transfer the models from Plan View 1 into this view. So we go Models, Transfer. We pick and accept in Plan View 1. Then pick and accept in our Perspective view. We can now minimise this view. Toggle on the shading. And using our Orbit button, we can just move around having a look at the actual combined surface. Back in Plan View 1, we could also save this away as a model listing. If we go View, Model Save Restore, we do have one there, 2009-04 Survey, but what we could do there is just call this 2009-04 Combined Survey. The View to Save is View 1, and click Save, finish. We're now going to look at doing our volume between our combined surface to the new surface. So we'll just remove this data from the view. We can read in our 05 survey. We pick 2009 05 survey, add it to view 1 and click read restore. We're going to do the volumes again. Design, Volumes, Exact, Tin to Tin. The original tin this time is the 2009-04 combined. The new tin is 2009-05. We're going to create a report file. We could call up the other one and just change the 4 to a 5. We're going to use A polygon this time. And click Volume. Again, we do it two ways, so let's do the way we did previously, 10 to 10 height range. We pick the original tin, the new tin, delta X and delta Y1, our range file, our polygon, we can pick it this time. And we'll just add it to the other report file and click Volume. We'll append. So we have 62,094 and 62,093. OK, we can finish off on that one. The next step will be to parallel this string in readiness for fencing out our 04 survey. We'll just turn off our tin for the moment. We're going to use our temp model again. Before we actually do the um, paralleling, we're just going to delete the strings inside the previous temp model. To do this, we can click Model Clean. This will delete any data within the model, but leave the model name intact. So we're going to pick the model temp and click Clean and Yes. So we're just going to parallel again. We're going to drag with direction, and it still remembers the previous values, or you could type them in, enter, enter. Always zoom in and have a look, make sure you've got it on the right side. Okay, so we can now turn off our 2905 models. We can then bring in our 2904 combined ones. Again, we can use model save restore, 2904 combined to view 1, and we'll just turn the tin off. OK, so we can do the fencing now outside that string there. So we go Utilities, Fence, we just do Fence this time, we only have one boundary. We're going to do everything in view 1, and the fence will be our temp string. And the model for fence outside will be 2009.05 extra. 
we click fence and again we'll turn off our 2009-04 data turn on our 2009-05 extra data and we can then turn on our 2009-05 models in readiness for creating a new tin we'll also turn off the temp model okay we're now going to calculate a tin of that surface we use the option tins create triangulate data and this will be tin space 200905 space combined the new tin name will just be 200905 combined press enter we'll give it a different color say gray The data will be again view, view 1, and the nulling will be a boundary, which was our original boundary. Okay, we click triangulate, finish, and we can turn on our TIN 2009 combined. Again, if we want to look at that in a perspective view, we can go to our perspective view, turn off the previous data, click view, models transfer, pick in the middle of plan view 1 and then pick in the middle of the perspective view and there we can move around seeing an updated surface of what the pit looks like at the end of 05 